Balance point, give me eight. and your coaches are probably going to hate me for this, but I really don't care. When you're throwing, that leg drive, what I don't want to see is get here and sink. Over here. Because if you get here and drop down, look at what that's then, doing in my head. My head's here, down. You're literally dropping on foot, so you're losing that eyesight. Sure that so from here, down. it's literally just a push. And that's what gets you downhill. And a long stride will take care of the downhill. You don't have to adjust it with your legs. So just trust that weight being on the inside of that foot going forward. Yes. So it feels funny first. My guess is too, you do that on the field too. Right you go to grow and teal first. Yeah. That would be my guess. Maybe you have a fair assessment of it. Probably. Yeah. I've got a bunch of trees sitting back here. Go for it like you would. Reach into the catcher. Because you can do your normal stride, which came out to about here, and you should be able to land. Ball for first. Chris, tell him why he doesn't want to land heel first when he pitches or throws, period. That's where he, remember where we got him coming over the top and yeah. we were saying it looks like he's forcing it? That's because yeah. he's going over his heel. Yeah, he drives that in. Pop yep. it. Like a rock drill. Find that rhythm with it. I want that where I want you to work on that backside, stay on the same level. Go ahead, try and throw. That explains why it looks like this. Lower 
If we do this right, everything else falls into place. Scoot this out a little bit if you want to make it easier. Yeah, that would help. Cool. Separating here, which is perfect, but you're getting a little short with it. You're not letting your arm get back like you were down here. Still take your time. Don't don't feel like you're having to rush yourself. No one on base right now. I like the finish right there. Yeah, that's good. Yeah,
front and rear more. Now, what I don't want you to get used to is landing on your knees and not ever letting your heel go down. Just like when we hit, right? When we hit, we're supposed to be here, right? Step, then the heel comes down. Once the heel is engaged in the ground, that's when that back hip fires. Okay? Same thing here. You're going to lose B level control if you try to stitch like that. Look at 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 that.
that on the side with the long fences, the challenge is obviously the slope is, and I can't really do that. So I have to put it back here with that tree. Is. right there just showed me exactly what you're doing. As soon as your bass went off your shoulder when you get your negative, you get negative, immediately it's there. Going straight here. Negative, now here, straight up. What? So basically imagine you're taking your knob right back to the pitcher. Because you're getting it here. Better. and the jive you up forward. If it's soft, so you can stay on your backside. I'm not so concerned about how far it is. Yeah. It'll also allow your eyes to stay more in place. Yeah, how far I'm not going to stay forward. So for right now, you might be Look at the spot, but try to put it down in the front shoulders is 
T-shirts that we need to give to Amy before y'all leave. Oh, all right. So, because I will forget. Oh, you think I can be a member? I remember. You remember things? Yeah. <laughs> when, when he wants to. <laughs> His bat speed, yeah. yeah. Um, a lot of that would be a he can swing a, like put a bat like those bat weights that we have where we put on hammer and uh, some stuff. Do that, that'll increase his bat speed. Um, he can swing a little bit of the heavier bat, that'll work. Um, a lot of core resistance training. So like if you have a uh, get a you can get basically one of those loop um, resistance bands. You can hook it up to a hook and literally have him right here and have, have it like hooked around him, have him swing. You know, just it's all core and back backside drive. Like, that's what that, that's where that speed will come from. Because right now, what he, his, he's also struggling with, uh, especially against his majors, he can swing when he's playing Oklahoma with them. Uh, these kids are throwing with right. some heat. Uh-huh. So, but he's not he's not loading up, waiting for it, and then firing. He's like seeing it, and then he's he's just swinging. waiting. He's swinging, he's swinging slow. Like he made a couple good contacts um, on it, but he, he could have definitely not want to buy it. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's um, that's also one of those things too. Is as you start to see the harder pitching more and more often, it'll get easier because it'll yeah. seem slower. Like you see guys hitting 100 miles, like hitting 100 mile an hour fastball in the big leagues, because that's all they see. Yeah. And so like that's another thing that'll help, and he'll get stronger just from hitting that. Yeah. That's right. And. Like, is there a coach in practice? Is he like throwing hard when he's throwing to him? Oh right. man, they put they have a pitching machine that he puts sets to sixty. Good, that's what he yeah. needs. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so, and that's the thing. It's like he'll do fine generally in, in practice with those, but in the games he's like overthinking it, and then so he doesn't swing like he's swinging in practice. He's swinging. I'll slow. tell you the same thing I told one of my players on Friday. When you go up to the plate, you start. When you're going up to the plate, are you more focused on swinging and just making contact or swinging to do damage? When you go up there, no offense, it's not going to be the best guy in the world. So your job is to go up there and try to do as much damage as possible with that with that ball. If you hit a ball, it's just pissed on, it hits the fence, you get a single out of it because it's hit too hard, it happens. Hell, guys, you can do that in the pros. Your job is to swing to see the ball make a solid contact finish your swing then get out you don't have you don't have to be one of those guys that's a swing and just get out of the box be out there and be a i want you hitting gaps gap to gap doubles doubles triples bomb that's your job okay? and if you have that mindset you'll do a lot more than you think you will <laughs> like don't be afraid to miss go out there swing the bat exactly swing the ball. well like i asked him that because I, I was listening to a josh johnson interview while i was doing nothing during COVID. And somebody asked him, she, the interview, the lady asked him, so when you go up to the plate, what, what what are you trying to do? Or are you trying to do damage or are you trying to get the job done? He's like, why wouldn't I try to do damage? 
Huh? Yeah. Same concept. Like he's not a fast guy by yeah. any means, but he's gonna he goes up there and he swings every little piss out of that. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I keep telling him is like, don't be afraid to miss. Don't, don't try to if just hit the ball. Try to if you go. swing and miss and the pitcher beats you, take your cap, go back in the dugout. And no, it won't happen again. But when you step in that batter's box, look that pitcher in the eye and basically give him a look of I'm better than you and I'm gonna take the pitch whatever you throw. That's the mindset we have. Yeah. Get aggressive. Yeah. Be mean. <laughs> yeah. That's like one of the kids uh, on the dad set on the team that he, he just has to want it. He needs to go out there and want it. You have to be mean. Yeah. It's, it's a level of cockiness and you just have to just be like, screw you. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Middle right side. Uh, Try to stay behind this. That's the kind of swing you need to do again. You're already a ball. <laughs> Good. Just kind of dip down on that. So you lost your eyesight again. Same thing. Pitching and hitting are kind of very close to similar when it comes to your body movements. When you drop down, you lose your eyesight, so you lose track of what you're seeing. Keep that head tall with the back and just drive. Replicate those first three swings, they're beautiful. Right there, beautiful. Dude. One of the hardest balls I've seen you hit. Actually, I told one of my kids to say that too. You swing with your breath. Instead of getting here and, go and trying to just hold your breath through it, load. It's that, it's, that'll give you that little bit of extra. Just, it's like, just imagine like, I don't know, lift weights and stuff. Like when you're bench pressing it. So when you're pushing the exhale, the exhale will allow you to stay a little bit less intense. Hey Dylan, right now I give this for me. Hey. You can use this one. No, the other one, I might oh. shorter. Oh, okay. Because once you take the tone off. Oh, okay, yeah, that's right. Yeah. And for him, I need short, short, short.
Give us a second to regather and find contact point again. Start here on the outside. Shoulder lean. Your shoulder something. Got three more. Hold about ten minutes out front. Connector piece.